What is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mix trap slash hip hop vocals in FL Studio using this one plugin chain for Studio Rack. Before we dig in, take a second to hit subscribe and ring that bell to receive all the latest news from Waze Audio and make sure you check the link below to grab this vocal chain and along with the free vocal recording and mixing template for FL Studio 20. It's got the vocal chain already set up for you with the separated mains, ad-libs, and even some backup vocals so you can just open it up and get started recording and mixing fast. Take a listen to this raw vocal right here. I'm on a bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks, and later tonight I'ma get it back. Shot that she bad, but don't know how to act. Facts, I had to get rid of that. I'm calling the cab and tell her come back when she not so moody and you're talking cap. All right, first thing we're gonna do is clean up any background noise with the NS1 noise suppressor. Now, what you wanna do in the vocal is find a section in between or before the words. Let's bring the volume up. You hear that noise? Now that's going through the whole track, and we don't want that. So you just reach for the NS1, it's first in the chain, and it gets rid of the noise, one less thing to worry about. The next plugin is Wavetune Real Time, dope for that auto tune effect. You may be used to the FL Pitcher, but as you know, every vocal tuning plugin sounds different, so I'm gonna show you how good this one sounds in just a minute on something more melodic. But let's get back to cleaning up these vocals first. Next in the chain is the F6 Floating Band Dynamic EQ. This plugin is the best problem solver, and it works the same way as the Fruity Parametric, but you can do so much more with it. I'm going to play just the vocals back, and let's see if we can remove some of those typical problem frequencies. Here we go. I'm on a bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks, and later tonight I'ma get it back. Shot that she bad, but don't know how to act. Facts, I had to get rid of that. I'm calling the cab and tell her come back when she not so moody and you're talking cap. Yeah, I'm the wave. Some of y'all MP3s, no quality. If you need to save you, don't call on me. A hero not in my biology. I'm not pushing my philosophy. Obviously, I was the light when they spotted me. But stay in the door like a prodigy. Grow up and blow up and kill all the doubt in me. Hey, I don't trip, but I take trips. I don't drink, but I sure do sip. All right, so you can see I rolled off the low end to about 90, just to be sure no low end rumble gets through. And then to tame all that muddiness, I eq these three frequencies dynamically so that it attenuates with the range only when it hits a certain level. And this is going to give you a much more transparent result. So you can definitely attenuate, but say things get a little too much on a certain frequency momentarily, you can use the threshold in the range to keep the problem frequencies from jumping out instead of statically attenuating or completely reducing frequencies throughout the performance. I'm also taming some of that honk around 1.2K, but let me show you something else and what I did on band six. Now here I created a de -esser. So all that sibilance in that nine to 11K area is under control. The boy got grip and I do not slip, got it on my hip and extend no clip and if you need a barber then come get a trim, snip, snip, snip. And then what you can do is go back and create a narrow cue, isolate the sibilance with the solo button, then just bring down the threshold and the range. Next is the famous CLA-76 and we're using this as the first stage of compression to control dynamic peaks or spikes in the overall performance. I'm on a bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks and later tonight I'ma get it back. I'm on a bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks, and later tonight I'ma get it back. Now I like to make sure I'm hitting between minus five and minus seven on the gain reduction. On a vocal, I typically set the ratio to four. I'll give it a fast attack. I'm at about six and a half, and also a fast release. Here, I'm at about four. And then I'll adjust the output to match the original gain. All right, so now that everything is under control, we can add some color and character to it. For that, you've got the Mini Maraquin EQ. It's a collection of multi-platinum, Grammy award-winning mix engineer, Manny Mariquin's favorite EQs, all bundled into one. Definitely head over to waves.com to learn more about this one. Right now, let's see if we can brighten these vocals up and give it a little bit more warmth and color. I'm on a bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks, and later tonight I'ma get it back. Shot that she bad, but don't know how to act. Facts, I had to get rid of that. I'm calling the cab and tell her come back when she not so moody and you're talking cap. Yeah, I'm the wave. Some of y'all MP3s, no quality. If you need to save you, don't call on me. A hero not in my biology. I'm not pushing my philosophy. Obviously, I was the light when they spotted me. But stay in the door like a prodigy. Grow up and blow up and kill all the doubt in me. Hey. All right, so I brought out a little more warmth at 250 hertz. That's the quad eight. The boost on bands two and three at 1.5K and 8K. Let's give it a little more clarity. That's the quad eight and the 1073. And then I gave it some more air at 10K with the famous silkiness of that Avalon 2055. This plugin is giving you the luxury of having the key characteristics of the most famous EQs ever made all right in here. Next comes the second stage of compression with the CLA 2A. And this is here to smooth out the vocal overall and give it a nice warm lift. 
I'm on the bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks, and later tonight I'ma get it back. I'm on the bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks, and later tonight I'ma get it back. Now on this vocal, I've got it on compress. I went with the gain at 36 and the peak reduction set at 53. Now tweaking this compressor is super easy, and since we got rid of all the problems earlier, it's gonna sound better when we lift it up. All right, so that's the general cleanup and crisp on rack one. Let's play it back one more time and check out the difference. Here's the before. I'm on the bag, got never lack, and no excuses, don't give me that. I drop a stack, a couple more racks, and later tonight I'ma get it back. Shot that she bad, but don't know how to act. Facts, I had to get rid of that. I'm calling the cab and tell her come back when she not so moody and talking cap. Yeah, I'm the wave. All right, so for this next part of the rack, we've got something a little more melodic. So I'm gonna go back and put Waves Tune real time on it to give it that sound. Praying for the day they see me falling off. But now I got my weight up, weight up like a mountain. I'ma stay up, stay up. Tell them face it like it's makeup. So when you open this up, first thing you want to do is put it in the key of your track. And then if it's major or minor. Now I've got the speed and transition set for this style of rapping. Now feel free to adjust these for your specific vocals. Waves Tune Real Time makes a great addition to the FL picture just because it gives you a different sound and texture. Now no two auto tune plugins sound the same. So if you're looking for something different, maybe even something with a little more control, definitely grab this one. All right, so now onto the vocal verb and delay to give the vocals that space and depth. Now you've got these four macros here, verb small, wash, and delay slap and long. And these are set up in the typical way you might set up effects inserts at the end of your mixer. Here, they're already set up for you right inside Studio Rack, so you can dial in with just the macros. Now on the small verb, you've got the Renaissance reverb on a low plate setting. The trick with this first reverb is to set it where it's barely noticeable, but when you turn it off, you can tell right away. Check it out. Now I got my weight up, weight up like a mountain. I'ma stay up, stay up. Tell them face it like it's makeup, cause they made up. I'd rather kick it with my haters than with the fakers. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. All right, the next reverb is the wash control. Now this will instantly give you that washed out, super reverby type of effect. Now here we're using a technique called sidechain ducking. We're adding a compressor after the reverb and then sidechaining it to the input, and that's gonna prevent the vocal reverb from completely washing out the whole track. Here it is with the compressor off. Oh, oh I know what you did to me. Pretending that you was into me. Just passing knowledge to my enemies. All right, and now with the compressor on after the reverb. Oh, oh I know what you did to me. Pretending that you was into me Just passing knowledge to my enemies Now you hear how that's ducking the reverb down while the words are flowing and in between or at those pauses it opens up nice and big and washed out and it does it for you automatically Alright, next we got the delays Now Echo gives you a slapback style delay effect with the Kramer tape plugin But now I got my weight up Wait up like a mountain, I'ma stay up, stay up Tell them face it like it's makeup, cause they made up I'd rather kick it with my haters than with the fakers no, 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 no. Oh, oh, I know what you did to me You can add a little more character and vibe to the effect with this flux control right here Now this plugin is also dope for dub style delays Just switch it to feedback But now I got my weight up, wait All right, Kramer tape is modeled after an actual tape machine, so you get all the imperfections and fluctuation sounds just as you would on an actual analog machine. All right, the next delay effect is the throw. And this one generates delay throws for you automatically. The first plugin is the H delay for those quarter note delays. And then you've got the filters rolled off at about 300 hertz and 3K for that lo-fi effect. Now the R compressor after H delay is there to duck the delay during the wrapping and release the effect on time with the beat when the rapping stops. But now I got my weight up, weight up like a mountain. I'ma stay up, stay up. Tell them face it like it's makeup, cause they made up. I'd rather kick it with my haters than with the fakers. Without that compressor, the delay would just keep building up. But now I got my weight up, weight up like a mountain. I'ma stay up, stay up. Tell them face it like it's makeup, cause they made up. So this way, you get that specific delay effect. It's already set up for you. Just dial it up on the throw macro, and your vocal stays clean and present, and you still get the effect without drowning things out. All right, so on to the third and final part of this vocal chain. You've got these four macros right here. Saturate, 
in your face, pitch, and thickness. So let me show you how to add a little more sauce to your vocals with the quickness. I've got this vocal right here that I already went ahead and cleaned up. I came to get money, don't need no new friends. Top the loose ends, then we on the way. Hank in the play, don't care what you say. Combination is safe with my flowers in the vase. I need them now before I'm in the ground. They liking my sound, I'm controlling the waves. Still gonna be on top after I'm in the grave. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now I'm gonna turn off the verb and delays just so you can better hear what's going on with these effects. Let's start out by adding some analog saturation, a great way to fatten up a vocal and help it cut through. Now this macro is connected to the mix amount on the Abbey Road saturator. It adds so much life and drive to whatever you put it on that you can get even more flexibility with this than you might get by saturating with the FL limiter. Let's hear it on this vocal. I came to get money, don't need no new friends, top the loose ends, then we on the way. Hank in the play, don't care what you say, combination is safe, put my flowers in a vase. I need them now before I'm in the ground, they liking my sound, I'm controlling the waves, still gonna be on top after I'm in the grave. Ooh, 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 fill it up, get it up, rip it up, hit them up, you know I'm feeling like... I like to go subtle with this, but as you heard, you can get as aggressive as you need. And then if you want to fine tune it, you can always open it up, make your adjustments, and save it as a preset for that specific person. Next is the in-your-face macro. Now, this is a New York parallel compression technique. It's already set up for you. You've got the API 2500 first squashing it, followed by the Manny EQ to complement the vocals. So let's throw the beat back on, and let me show you how that's going to put that vocal more in your face. I came to get money, don't need no new friends, top the loose ends, then we on the way. Hank came to play, don't care what you say, combination is safe, put my flowers in the face. I need them now before I'm in the ground, they liking my sound, I'm controlling the waves. Still gonna be on top after I'm in the grave, ooh, 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 ooh. Fill it up, get it up, rip it up, hit them up, you know I'm feeling like too pop. All this ice water dripping on me, boom, too hot. Definitely dope to have that in your vocal toolkit. Let's move on to the next. You've also got a real-time vocal pitch shifter right here with Vocal Bender. I've got it already set up on a deep lower octave for the vocal. So if you wanted to, you can record in some automation with the pitch control. I came to get money, don't need no new friends, top the new sands, then we on the way. Hank in the play, don't care what you say, combination is safe, put my flowers in the face. I need them now before I'm in the ground. They like my sound, I'm controlling the waves, they're gonna be on top. And you get that Travis Scott chop and screw style effect. Now the last effect is what I call thickness. Now for this, you've got the doubler plugin. So check out what it's doing as I bring up the thickness. I came to get money, don't need no new friends, top the loose ends, then we on the way. Hank in the play, don't care what you say, combination is safe, put my flowers in the face. I need them now before I'm in the ground, they liking my sound, I'm controlling the waves. Still gonna be on top after I'm in the grave, ooh, 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 ooh. Now you see it's taking each of those four modulated voices, and it's bringing those up and spreading those out. It's a great way to add that thickness on certain parts of the track, like the bridge or the hook. All right, so we added a little effects. Now I'm gonna play this back. Let's add a little reverb and some delay to it to give it a little more excitement. I came to get money, don't need no new friends, top the loose ends, then we on the way. Hank in the play, don't care what you say, combination is safe, put my flowers in the face. I need them now before I'm in the ground, they liking my sound, I'm controlling the waves. Still gonna be on top after I'm in the grave, ooh, 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 ooh. Fill it up, get it up, rip it up, hit them up, you know I'm feeling like too pop. All this ice water dripping on me, boy, I'm too hot. Hot, 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 hot. Now see, you can make your adjustments all right here in Macro View. It's not taking up too much of the screen real estate. And you can make just about any vocal you put this chain on sound great in minutes. Well, there you go, guys. The ultimate trap vocal chain for mixing hip-hop and trap vocals. Now, make sure you check the link below to download this chain free for Studio Rack. I also left you with the FL Studio project file below. So if you need a quick template to record vocals or mix vocal stems, you've got everything you need right here already set up for you. So all you need to do is insert the beat, adjust the BPM, and you're good to go. Now to keep up with all the latest special offers, new plugins, tips, tricks, and more from Waves Audio, make sure you take a second to hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Now, if there's anything you want us to show you in FL Studio, let us know in the comments below. And until next time, thank you for watching.